Hello, the title of this video, The Two Compass Rules and When to Break Them, it's slightly over the top because they're not rules, they're guidelines. You don't have to stick to them, nothing's going to happen to you if you don't. But these are the two rules that I teach my course participants and they work in the vast majority of cases. Now most people when they go out navigating they have a map and they either have a base plate compass like this Sunto or they have a lens attic compass like this Kamenga. The first rule concerns, in fact both rules concern, where your orienting arrow points to on a base plate compass and on a lens attic compass where the tritium mark points. I'll, I'll zoom in just so you know what I'm talking about. Rule number one with a base plate compass is this. When the compass is in your hand, the orienting arrow is always directly underneath the north section of the magnetic needle. Rule number one with the lens attic compass is the tritium mark, which is this little thing on the top of the uh, glass. When it's in your hand, the tritium mark is always directly over the north end of the magnetic needle. Rule number two, when your compass is on your map, the orienting arrow on a base plate is always pointing directly up the map. Rule number two, with a lens attic compass, the tritium mark is always pointing directly up the map. So why are those two rules applicable in the vast majority of cases? Well, let's take number two first. If your compass is on your map, then you're obviously taking a bearing from somewhere to somewhere else, or you're trying to find you know, a direction that somebody's given you, but you, it's still a bearing. And in which case, the orienting arrow on a base plate wants to be pointing straight up the map. If you're using a lens attic compass, then your tritium mark needs to point straight up the map. If we go to rule number one, get rid of the map, then if the compass is in your hand, then you're obviously either following a bearing or taking a bearing. And in either case, on a base plate compass, the orienting arrow needs to be directly underneath the north end of the magnetic needle. If you're using a lens attic compass, again, you're either taking a bearing or you're following a bearing. And in either case, the tritium mark needs to be directly over the top of the north end of the magnetic needle. So that's the two rules. Now, as I said at the start, there are exceptions. And the main exception is when you're doing a back bearing. Let's say that I'm walking in this direction and I want to check that I'm going in the, you know, I'm still on the right, correct bearing. So all I do is I just turn around, point my compass at where I started, and now the south end of the needle should be directly over the orienting arrow, or in this, in the case of a lens attic compass, I point it at where I started, and now the south end of the needle should be directly underneath the tritium mark. That's why the two rules work, and also those is, you know, that's why there's exceptions. So hopefully, <laughs> I, hopefully I explained that properly and quite simply. So thanks for watching.